Hi traders, 14th of September 2016, Crispin here from FX Algo Trader. We're looking at version 4.0 Opulent of the StatArb system and just uh, been looking at this uh, Euro Yen, Dollar Yen spread on the M5 time frame and what I've done here is noticed that the spread is pretty stationary on these lower time frames. So, I've used the M15, M30, and H1 time frame for trend filtering. And I've also used a new feature called only trade stationary spreads. So the system will only trade if all the actual uh, trend filters are reading stationary. And our overall trend identification marker here in the STD indicator is reading stationary too. So we've seen here that spread is pretty stationary on this M5 time frame. We've seen some undulation from the upper and lower trigger level. We've seen it this morning when the London market opened, so we're talking around about 7 o'clock GMT, so the volatility picks up. Um, so probably in view of that, you'd be looking if you were going to carry on using this strategy, assuming the stationary nature of the spread is maintained, you would probably look to broaden the STD multiple by simply going to the interface, clicking on the chart, and then scrolling down to the STD controls. And at the moment, we're running 0.5 as our STD multiple. Probably you'd be looking for maybe 1 or 0.8 or something like that. I mean, maybe just to analyze it, I mean, you can see the spread here, just clipping those channels then coming down to test this lower band so if this works out and basically we are in profit by about three dollars at the moment on a 0.1 lot um, synthetic trade which is going to be short euro dollar because obviously trading euro yen and dollar yen together creates a synthetic pair which is the euro dollar so we're anticipating that the spread will hopefully come down test test this lower trigger and take a set of the trade I've set the reversion target as the opposite band. Of course, if I want to, I can change the reversion target to the mean, which would obviously take us out early. So just, I'll just change that to the mean there using the interface. And actually, we'll just stay with this for a second and see if the spread touches the mean and, and then exits the trade for us, so, which is a big, good example. Okay, so it's just uh, touched the mean and exited as planned, giving us a little profit of dollar sixty-six. So, <laughs> pretty trivial example, but just a really a demonstration of the stationary nature of the system, being able to basically lock the system into a, a stationary only trading mode, which is useful, particularly in the overnight sessions. So, thanks very much for watching.